Simona Dinnerstein, thank you very much for joining us. Welcome. Thanks for having me on. Congratulations on uh, the success of this new album, Inventions and Symphonias. Why did you want to do a CD of these particular pieces? I thought it would be interesting to go back to the earliest pieces of Bach that I had studied. And um, especially the inventions were pieces that I had had experience with throughout my life. So I first started studying them when I was about 10 or 11. And then I taught them when I was in my 20s and early 30s. I did a lot of teaching. And so I had an experience of them as a teacher. And now coming back to them and playing them as a mature adult um, has been really fascinating. So I, I felt that I can envision myself over the next uh, number of years, the rest of my life, um, working my way through box keyboard music and recording it. And it's something that I would like to do. Uh, so starting with the first pieces made sense to me. What is it that attracts you to Bach's keyboard music? Why do you like it so much? Well, other than the fact that I think it's, you know, some of the most, the best music ever written, uh, most piano music comes from Bach. I think that uh, if, if not in terms of the sense of the composer having based it on their own experience with Bach, for us as pianists, uh, playing Bach gives us the foundation for playing everything else. Um, one of the biggest joys and biggest challenges of being a pianist is that you can play multiple voices at the same time. Uh, you know, the only other instrument that can do that is the organ, who can beat us at it. But, uh, <laughs> but the, um, on the piano, of course, you can imitate so many instruments, and it's a little bit like playing an orchestra. So Bach's music um, so clearly shows the different voices and teaches our fingers how to be independent from each other and to, to think in different ways. These inventions he, he wrote when he was in Nurkarten, 1723, I think is the mm -hmm. date on that. And these were sort of study pieces for, for his children, for his pupils. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Bach was an amazing teacher. I mean, that was really a, a core part of his work as a musician was teaching. And uh, it's so excellent that he taught counterpoint by writing it. You know, it's not like he wrote a treatise about how to write counterpoint or about how to play it, but he actually wrote this set of inventions and symphonias as real examples of what happens when you take two voices and then three voices. And what, what, what do you do if you have a, a musical idea that is in this kind of particular shape? What can you do to develop it and use it contrapuntally? He called the inventions an honest guide. And th that's a phrase that I know speaks to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a beautiful phrase because um, I mean, his whole preface is beautiful to the edition. He writes, it's an honest guide for lovers of the keyboard as to how to play counterpoint and to play it in a cantabile way, which is a beautiful thing that he wrote as well. It's something really worth thinking about. Um, but an honest guide, it, it just so symbolizes for me the kind of musician that Bach was. You know, he was a craftsman. I think he saw himself as a craftsman. And uh, there wasn't anything glitzy or ex... There's no excess in his music. Even when he's writing for like a million voices at the same time, it's, it's everybody is saying something meaningful. Every line of his music could be sung and would sound beautiful. And um, in the inventions and the symphonias, he's trying to show us something in a very straightforward way, and uh, there are no frills to it. The first invention that you're going to play for us today is number three in D major. Mm -hmm. um, he wrote in each of the keys, major and minor. Mm -hmm. Almost. So there's, uh, I think, eight major keys and seven mm -hmm. 
minor keys. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say about this one, the D major? Well, I do think that every key has a very different color, uh, and he he really captures that. So there's a kind of brightness to this D major invention that I think is particular to that key. Um, it's one of the more fun and joyful and sort of frolicking ones. And, you know, there's a certain amount of ornamentation, which is, you know, challenging to, to figure out. And, but it's, it's a very, it's a, a more um, simple in a way. It's a simple invention amongst the set of inventions. And I like that about it. Well, here is Simona Dinnerstein at the Steinway here in the Geary studio with J.S. Bach's Invention Number no. 3 in D Major. <laughs> 